Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. What a late night rally. We knocked out that filler that knocks out Prism Pick Your Team 12. Six box break, half case, second half of the case that we opened up earlier. Remember I left those other Prism boxes in this box right here. So we're gonna see what's in that second half. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. I appreciate everybody participating in this late night rally and getting this done. If you have Prism 7 next to your name, that means you won that team in that Prism pack break. Ryan, you, Ryan Boone, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Colts. Got that team last before we pulled the other teams for the filler. Excellent. Now this break will bring us to the, uh, to the end of our evening. But I did promise that if we get that NT uh, World Cup soccer break done, that one box break done by tonight, that I would uh, I would be down to do it. out over there. Let's take this out of my inventory system. All right, perfect. All right, good luck, everybody. Thanks again for the late night rally. I appreciate it. See what we got out of here. What we got? I got I got the final round of the Valspar golf tournament on in the background. Surge Bros, what's going on? That yeah, that Japan Mexico game was insane. I, I was I was rooting for Mexico, and I thought they were gonna win it, but But yeah, it's good, good back and forth. Hey, a good, a good advertisement for the World Baseball Classic. That's for sure. Hopefully, the championship game tomorrow will be will be that close. But. Mexico, Team Mexico kept getting into jams in that World Baseball Classic semifinal. Kept getting into jams and kept getting out of the jams. But then there was one jam just too many towards the end of, of the game. We couldn't get out of. But pretty exciting. All right. We're going to lead off with Bernie Kozar, 54 out of 99, Cracked Ice. It's going to go to Cleveland. That'll be for William. And behind J.J. Watt is a bear. That's Kyler Gordon, rookie auto for William in Chicago. Yeah, Japan's first game time home run was absolutely clobbered. Was that the one that was golfed into like and hit went went off the pole? Was it that one? Ooh, and a Brock Purdy. That'll go to the Niners. That'll be for Sean Maddock. Maybe we'll find some parallels of his or a silver. All card ship in this, ladies and gentlemen. So everything you see. We'll, we'll go to you. Dante Hall to 125. That's for the Chiefs. That's going to go to Greg. And we got a Drake Jackson, 17 out of 60 for the Niners. That'll be for Sean Maddock. You know what? I think it was, actually. I actually think William got that auto. So William, you're starting your uh, you're starting your Kyler Gordon PC, whether you intended to or not. 
We got JJ Watt for the Cardinals. That's to 25. That'll be for Nicholas and the Cardinals. And behind Wes Welker, a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? Here's Michael Pittman Jr. to 75. That'll be for the Colts. That's going to be for Ryan Boone. Garrett Wilson will go to the Jets. That's for William. James Tom Brady. Is he, is he even on the checklist in here? Patriots Tom Brady. Damian Harris to 225. That'll be for David. No, James, def James definitely wants uh, Buccaneers Tom Brady. He has the Buccaneers in this one. We got Reggie Wayne, 179 out of 249. That'll be for Ryan Boone and the Colts. We got Evan McPherson, Red Wave to 149 for Cincinnati. That's going to be for Michael P. We got a Drew Brees guess. We got um, we got William Perry. We got a Patrick Mahomes guess. Here's Josh Pascal to 125. William wants a Kyler Gordon Black parallel now at this point. If he's going to start, if he's going to inadvertently start that PC. Here's a fireworks Garrett Wilson and a Donald Driver to 199 for Jeff and the Packers. Garrett Wilson fireworks silver will go to William and the Jets. We got Jalen Tolbert rookie red wave to 149 for Dallas. That's going to be for Ed P. All right, the redemption is is Debo Samuel, base, autographs, prism, silver. Sean Maddock and the Niners, nice. All right, box one in the books, box two. Nice one, Gilo. He's a redemption because no one can catch him. That yak. That yards after catch. That playmaking ability. Yeah, that's right, Gilo. Jet sweeps for days. One of the few teams where I actually feel like the jet sweep like works. <laughs> I feel like a lot of teams think they can do the jet sweep. And it's always like for a loss. I feel like a lot of coaches are like, yeah, this is this is where we're gonna fool this defense. With the old jet sweep. And then you realize, oh, like Hunter Renfro is not fast enough to do that. Amon Ross St. Brown, that's not his game. It's a 249. That's for Detroit. That's going to be for Kevin. And Darius Slay Jr. to 125 for Greg and the Eagles. Never thought bubble screens would work until Andy Reid came around says g -Lo. Well, yeah, and then you, if you have the personnel to pull that off, and then all of a sudden it looks, looks like an unstoppable play. 41 out of 75, Roger McCurry, Titans. 
That's for William in Tennessee. And here's Jeremy Chin, Red Wave to 149. That's for Carolina. That's going to be for Alex. And behind Dalton Schultz, who just signed with somebody. Someone's going to tell me in the chat. We got Snoop Connor. Snoop Doggy Dog. 101 out of 149. It's going to go to the Jags. Sean Maddock with the Jaguars. There's a Kenny Pickett and a Chris Olave rookie card. Base rookie Kenny Pickett for Alex and the Steelers. Chris Olave, Ryan Boone, and the Saints. All right, most teams can't do it. William, <laughs> right. Third and 18. Let's do a bubble screen for three. What are, what are we doing here? If you have a Tyreek Hill. It might be a different story, but most teams don't. Javante Williams, Broncos. That's for Randy. We've got a Jalen Petrie or Peter. 196 out of 225. Either way, that's going to go to Houston. Ryan Boone. Seventy-two S seventy-five. That's Amani Oruwariye, Detroit. That's going to go to Kevin. I think I got that. Nailed it. Oh. Revealed the auto a little early, but it's a Jalen Waddle. That's going to that hit's going to waddle over to Robert Runkel and the Dolphins. Second year Jalen Waddle. We got a Derek Carr, 25 out of 99. Thanks for your service to the Raiders, Derek Carr. Appreciate it. Still Raiders edition. Going to go to Michael, who has my Raiders. Vaughn Miller to 175 for the Bills. It's going to go to Keel. And we've got a Jermaine Johnson rookie orange for the Jets. One, two, three out of two, four, nine. That's for William. we got Jaguars Josh Allen to 225 for Sean. Here's a Desmond Ritter for Greg and the ATL. We'll do a recap of all those cards that I'm top loading. We'll do a recap of all those at the end of the break. I got a question for, for everybody. Most years, I always feel like there's a team that wins like less than five games that ends up, not all the teams, but there's at least one that seems to be, uh, that's, that will end up in the playoffs in the next year. Who's that team going to be? Teams with five wins or less from last year. The Colts were four and two, four two, four twelve and one. The Texans were three thirteen and one. The Broncos were five. I guess that would be the popular answer. The Broncos to make the playoffs. Five and twelve. The Bears were three and fourteen. The Rams were five and twelve, and the Cardinals were four and thirteen. Who's a playoff team the next year? You'd be surprised how often that happens. Where like a team that's that's you know terrible the year before ends up getting into the playoffs the next year. You think Rams bested that bunch? Broncos or Texans? Maybe the Cardinals? 
Well, the Cardinals are without Kyler Murray for a bit, so maybe I don't know if that's going to be the team. Rams, I don't know what the Rams are doing. I mean, if Stafford's healthy, maybe. I could see the Broncos maybe sneak into a playoff spot. Texans, aside from the Jaguars, the ascending Jaguars, I feel like the Texans are are kind of in a soft division, right? And AFC South could could be got could be a playoff spot out of there. There's Fletcher Cox at 225. Thoughts on the retail of Prism seems to be very mixed reviews. I'll be honest, I haven't ripped a lot of the retail of this, so I wouldn't know. I feel like the retail versions are always kind of hit or miss. There's Devontae Wyatt for the Packers. That'll be for Jeff. I feel like some years the Prism retail are like, you know, loaded with, with all the all the top rookies and everything. And some years they're just kind of whatever. There's Ekim Okwonwu, 008 out of 199 for Carolina. That's for Alex. But um, but hobby the hobby editions like the ones we're doing now, you know, it's far more consistent. You get the two autos a box, get a ton of parallels. I think it's a lot more expensive, but I think it's a little bit more, a little bit more worth it. I want to say we have done a giant retail mixer before. It's not a common thing just because we mix in some retail with hobby and some of our football mixers, but all retail only. We have done it before. You might be able to look through our, our old archives, our old videos for that. John Lynch, Buccaneers, it's for James. And a Jimmy G. Six out of ten, new Raider Jimmy G. This is still a niner for Sean Maddock. Please stay healthy, Jimmy. I feel like Jimmy G's healthy. He's he's at least Derek Carr, right? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Because I'm biased. I'm a Raiders guy, right? Completely healthy Jimmy G. Is he Derek Carr or is he better than Derek Carr? And here's a Kenny Pickett. And a Chris Olave. Alex with the Steelers. Ryan Boone with the Saints. All he does is win when he's healthy, says James. Is it because that Niners team is a better team than the Raiders? With probably better coaching? And there's Dalton Schultz who reveals a Trey McBride RPA. We had two in the first half. Here's another one. There's usually like one, right? I'll take it though. Nicholas with the Cardinals. 78 out of 99. Yeah, honestly, trading, I have no idea. Here's another Chris Olave rookie card. The store stock, the in store stock seems to change all the time. They're already always rotating stuff in and out. So I never know. Devonta Smith and a Quinn and Williams for the Jets to 175. That's for William. Racking up the parallels. Maybe find some ink or something really low numbered. Uh, there's Tyler Algier, 49 out of 225. Purple cracked ice for Greg and the Falcons. There's Ramondre Stevens, Stevenson to 225. That'll be for the Pats. That's for David Harrison. DK Metcalf reveals an Adam Vinatieri, 44 out of 99. Last spot Mojo strikes again. Ryan Boone, 70% of the time. Last spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. And looks like we got a dolphin. I don't know why that was flipped around, but there's the dolphin. Here's Baker Mayfield. 
to 175. I think we were talking about, and here's Desmond Ritter. That's Panthers edition. That's going to go to Alex. Desmond Ritter will go to Greg and the Falcons. All right, halfway through this half case break. Got about another 20 or so minutes to go. Um, I was talking earlier today, Baker Mayfield, who's going to be, who's in Tampa Bay on a one-year deal. It sounds like, and I was kind of wondering in the chat, I was like, hey, is that, is he there, is this an open competition between him and Kyle Trask? Or are they, or are they um, kind of inserting him as QB1 from the get-go? And someone in the chat said QB1 from the get-go. So he'll be getting those first team reps and being given the opportunity to be QB1. Unless Kyle Trask beats him out, outright. But I think they're, they, they would like to see him be a week one starter. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Baker Mayfield, that's a good position to be in. They've got some, some solid offensive weapons there. Do I think Zappy moves? I don't think so. Because I think like decent, I mean, unless, unless the Patriots get a Godfather offer, right? Unless they get an offer they can't refuse. If someone really falls in love with Bailey Zappi and wants to take him, but I think Jerry might still be out on Mac Jones. I think they want, and Bailey Zappi looks more than competent Good quarterbacks and even even good backup QBs are very hard to find these days. I think they're just going to hold on to both of them. Why not? I think they're both under their rookie deals. Why not hold on to both? Here's Kair Elam, 87 out of 125. Same with the Brock Purdy, Trey Lance situation. I think they're both another year or two left on their rookie deals. Maybe Purdy has a little bit more. But it's like, why trade? Why why trade both? The luxury of having two decent quarterbacks on your in your room. Your C.J. Mosley for the Jets for William. I'd hold on to both. Here's Aiden Hutchinson for Detroit. That's going to go to Kevin. Yeah, I mean. Mac Jones finally has a proper offensive coordinator. Let's see what he can do with that. There's sensational signatures for uh, the commanders. Joshua with old Clinton Portis. That's a redskin back then. Going to the commanders of now. To 149. There was some news that uh, Urban Magic Johnson interested in being part of the, the group making a bid for the Commanders. You got Michael Gallup, 23 out of 49. Ed P with Dallas. Wow, nice snakeskin Dalvin Cook. These are only one or two per case. We didn't see one in the first half, actually. That's a short print for Jerry and the Vikings. And we got Brian Cook, no relation, 37 out of 175. That's for the Chiefs. That'll be for Greg. Now, if we see a James Cook, that is a relation. Here's a Rashad Penny to 99 for the Seahawks. That'll be for Scott. And a Garrett Wilson for William and the Jets. We've got a red wave, Dan Marino to 149. That's for Robert and the Dolphins. 
Ahmad Sauce Gardner, rookie silver for William and the Jets. Your defensive rookie of the year. Here's Justin Fields to 175 for William and the Bears. We've got a Malik Willis, rookie silver. That's for William and the Titans. William racking up the parallels here. Nice. Pierre Strong Jr. to 75 for the Patriots. David with the Pats. A.J. Brown for the Eagles to 199. It'll be for Greg. And behind Kurt Warner Silver is... Is a Malik Willis autograph? Yes. Rookie autograph Malik Willis for William McHugh and the Titans. Pushing the late night rally for Prism. Joined the filler. Got randomized the Titans. Gets the Malik Willis rookie autograph. Congrats. We're rooting for Malik Willis. I hope he does well. It's Quiddy Pay to 225 and a Kenny Pickett and Chris Olave. All right, Alex has the Steelers. And the Chris Olave will go to Ryan Boone and the Saints. Yeah, Malik Willis could use some time at Jaspi's autograph camp. That's for sure. With keynote speaker Mariano Rivera. All right, second to last box. Good luck, my friends. Thanks everyone for getting in. Thanks for the late night rally. Appreciate you. All right, another box. Good luck, everybody. We got Sam Howell, rookie silver. Joshua with the Commanders. Yeah, the Commanders. I think Joey, Jacoby Brissett's on that team, but I think they're really expecting Sam Howell to be to be QB1 out there. That's the intent, Josh. So let's see how he does. There's Kenny Clark to 225. And if he does well, that rookie silver is going to be pretty nice this upcoming season. And a Brock Purdy. For the Niners, Sean Maddock. Be interesting to see, because uh, I think Eric Bieniemy, the former Chiefs OC, is now the OC for the Commanders. And I think, there's Tyree Kill, orange to 249. And I think, if, uh, if Eric Bieniemy makes Sam Howell on that, and there's some weapons on that Washington team, it could be pretty interesting. It's Grady Jarrett to 125. 
I think there's some reason for optimism with uh, with Sam Howell. And here's N'Kobe Dean, rookie autograph for the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Greg. And there's Dalvin Cook, 21 out of 199. And I think, obviously, Brock Purdy's story has definitely encouraged a lot of teams, right? They're like, hey, if that guy went past everybody's radar. You know, and sure, maybe he was in the right system. Maybe he was, you know, all that sort of stuff. And that is a good team. Here's Cade York to 149. Cleveland, that'll be for William. But I think that kind of tells you, hey, you know, picking quarterbacks in the NFL draft is a real crapshoot. We got Mike Evans. We got Saquon Barkley flipping around, making us think of their autographs. They're not. Here's an orange J.K. Dobbins to 249. That'll be for Sean and Baltimore. There's a Garrett Wilson, and that's for William and the Jets. Here's Arnold Abiketie, 18 out of 25 for the Dirty Bird. That'll be for Greg. Rex Burkhead and Cameron Hayward, 24 out of 75. Green Scope. That'll be for Pittsburgh. That'll be for Alex. And behind Rashad Penny is Jake Plummer, Jake the Snake, 47 out of 99. Sensational signatures for the Cardinals. Nicholas with the Arizona Football Cardinals. There's Aaron Jones to 149. That's for Green Bay. That'll be for Jeff. And we got Chris Godwin for the Buccaneers. That's for James. That's out of 175. All right, final box coming up. Speaking of the Arizona football Cardinals, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure the Arizona Cardinals are technically uh, the oldest NFL franchise. So I want to say they can technically they they can claim their uh, direct descent their lineage I guess goes back to uh, the Chicago Cardinals. And I think that ownership group that family has owned the Cardinals for like a long time. Multi-generational, I think. And I think that family, much like the, uh, the Ford family in Detroit, I think often gets, uh, gets criticized for just being somewhat lazy owners, not really investing in the team as much as they could or should. Friends, final box. Good luck, boys and girls. Thank you for getting in. We don't have any more Prism football at the moment, but who knows? Maybe we'll get. Maybe there's more on the way. Could be more tomorrow. Just keep checking back on the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. There's Joe Burrow to 175. Michael P. and Cincinnati. There's Malik Willis. 
for William and the Titans. Isaiah Spiller, Devonta Smith to 225 for Greg and the Eagles. Got a Brock Purdy, 138 out of 199, a parallel. I feel like we haven't seen too many parallels of Brock Purdy. Blue Wave for Sean Maddock to, uh, to 199, Sean. Yeah, someone mentioned that earlier, that Cam Newton is attempting a comeback, that he's going to be throwing at, a, at the Auburn Pro Day. There's Young Wei Ku, 115 out of 249. Now, if you go to our break schedule, which I'm going to go to right now, and click over to NFL Mock 2023, in addition to my attempt at a mock draft, which I'll have to be working on sometime in April, I do have also, if you scroll down, I have a list of teams and their quarterbacks. Or who I think, or there's question marks where there's no quarterback. By the way, behind DJ Shark is Cade Otten for the Buccaneers, rookie auto for James. There you go, James, on the board. Four out of 49. So where does, first of all, do you believe that Cam Newton has anything in the tank? Here's J.K. Dobbins, 125. And second, if he does, if you think he does, where does he go? Is he a starter in this league? Here's Desmond Ritter for Greg. Is he a starter in this league or is he? I think he sounds like he wants to be a starter, but is he a good backup somewhere for? I don't know who goes for it. Cause I feel like the some teams, JJ saying he's a huge guy. His size will just carry him through. And it's nice, Sam Howell, 85 out of 99. Nice parallel, Joshua, and the Commanders. You never was a believer in Cam. I think the knock on Cam Newton, I feel like was sometimes, I don't know, that he was, that he was too aggressive with like the running and would always get himself injured and Terry Bradshaw at 249. That's for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Alex. I mean, ah, points. I'm going to randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all the points if we see another one. Hopefully there's not at this stage of the game. There's Deshaun Watson to 49. But I'm trying, I'm looking at the list of teams. Cardinals, maybe, as a short-term option. While uh, Kyler Murray is... Making his way back. I don't think the Falcons will do it. I, th I feel like the Ravens will end up just re-signing Lamar Jackson, right? Not Buffalo. Does he go to Buffalo as a backup? Carolina? No, he's not going to go back to Carolina. Bears? Does he go back up Justin Fields? Bengals? Probably not. Browns? No. Cowboys? Browns just re-signed our Joshua Dobbs. Cow Cowboys? Broncos? No, they got Jarrett Sidham. Lions? Probably not. Packers? Probably not. Texans and Colts are going to draft a quarterback. He doesn't want to be a backup to a rookie. Not the Jaguars. Not the Chiefs. Not the Raiders. <laughs> Maybe the Raiders, actually. He'd look good in silver and black. Not the Chargers. Rams? I don't know what's happening with Sam Matthew Stafford with the Rams. He's had some concussion issues down the stretch. It's Michael Pittman Jr., 75. Patriots, no. Vikings, no. Dolphins, no. Saints, probably not. Giants, no. Jets, no. Eagles, no. Steelers, no. Niners, no. Seahawks, maybe. Seahawks? Not the Buccaneers. Probably not the Titans and not the Commanders. There's really no one, right? I mean, if Seattle doesn't draft a quarter, but I mean, they already have an old quarterback in Geno Smith. They wouldn't go with, yeah, I, I don't really see a fit unless he wants to play for 
But unless he wants to play as a backup, which might be his only option. But it sounds like he wants to be a starter. There's a boy Moff for the Seahawks. Seattle, that's for Scott. And the final little bit, ladies and gentlemen. It's Kyle Pitts, 2 out of 99. Oh, they signed Drew Locke again. That's right, in Seattle. So they're probably not going to draft a quarterback. Kyle Pitts to Atlanta. Greg, and that's that. Let's randomize that uh, 600 points, and then we'll do a recap. You know what? Cam, if Cam Newton has a, actually has a decent pro day, hey, listen, I'm, I, I root for players. If Cam Newton has a decent like pro day, I could see him being like one of the first quarterbacks off the board if there's like a major injury to a quarterback, he's like one of those, one of those guys, like first off the board when a quarterback gets injured. All right, let's get Nicholas down to Joshua and everyone in between. There's new dice, some new list. And the name on top will get 600 points after a little consolation prize after three, three down territory. One, two, and three. After three times, there's that last spot mojo, Ryan Boone. 600 points going your way after three. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, really appreciate the late night rally. Thanks for making it happen. I knew we could do it. Got some nice stuff here. I like the Sam Howell parallel, the Brock Purdy parallel, Sam Howell silver, the Malik Willis autograph, and that silver rookie, the snakeskin Dalvin Cook short print. Adam Vinatieri, we got our, we got another RPN. We got two in the first half. We got a gold Jimmy Garoppolo, six out of ten. Jalen Waddle, Snoop Connor, Debo Samuel, and Kyler Gordon at the beginning, and that six hundred points over there going to Ryan Boone. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again. That was Pick Your Team twelve in the books. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye bye.